Welcome to Rise Up Namobia. So in this video, we are going to be looking at logarithms involving the product law by Matt Yanata, aka the resistor of bad and the love of good. Hashtag dark and lovely underscore walk by faith and not by sight. So let's talk about the product law. Now, what happens when you have log base M of A and then you want to add something like log base m of b what would your answer be now your answer will be log base m of a and b or a b or a multiplied by b okay but how do i get this answer is the question here now i want you to look at what you are adding okay now when it comes to logarithms the product law once you are adding okay make sure that your bases are the same okay whatever you are adding now if your bases are the same whatever number you have at a you multiply that number with whatever number you have at b okay that's why in our answer we have the log base m which is the same in both in whatever we are adding and then now we have AB here. Where did the AB come from? The AB came by multiplying what, like this A with B. Okay? So you've probably heard that logarithms are the reverse of uh, indices or exponents. Now let's look at this law. How is it related to indices or exponents? They are related in a way that... Remember the multiplication law. Okay? The multiplication law of indices states that when the bases are the same, what do we do to the exponents? We add A and B. Okay? Now, this is the reverse of this law. So, this law is the reverse. Meaning, when we have the same bases, now we multiply A and B. Okay? So, we get the same log base m and then here we get the multiplication of a and b now if you don't understand this law don't get worried worry not because we will be getting into examples that will enlighten your understanding okay so let's get into example number one so we have log base 2 of 4 okay now and then we add to it a log base 2 of 16 what will the answer be now remember what we did here. Always check your bases. Hmm? Are your bases the same? Because now you want to add this to this. But are the bases the same? Yes, we have on both sides the bases are 2. So your answer will have a log base 2 as well. Because they are both log base 2. Now, look at your law. We have an A here. Now, in our question, what is at A? We have 4. Okay, and then here we have B. Now in our question, what do we have at B? We have 16, which means we need to multiply this 4 with this 16. Okay, so now what would the answer be? The log base 2 comes down the same way it is, and then you multiply 4 multiplied by 16 gives you what? Gives you 64, and that is your final answer. So you have just written this as a single logarithm okay let's look at another example how about when you have log and then there is no base written of 4 plus another log and then there is no base written again and then of 8 what would your answer be now this is what we call common logarithms okay which means, in each case that you see that there is no base written, it means that the base is 10. Okay? So, if you see any question without a base, just keep in mind that your base is normally 10. Now, with that said, let's look at the law again. Now that we know that both our bases are 10, what is at A? At A, we have a 4. Hmm? So we multiply that 4 
with whatever is at B. So what is at B? At B we have an 8. So we multiply with that 8. Okay? Now what would our answer be? 4 multiplied by 8 will be 32. So our answer is log base 10 of 32. And again, you've just written this as a single logarithm here. Okay? Now, how about when you are given something like this? Again, it says log and then there is no base written of m plus log again no base of n. Now, this is also a what type of logarithm? It's a common logarithm as well, meaning the basis is also 10. Now, it's not compulsory to write 10 there, okay? So you can also write the answer as just log, and then you check whatever you had here, multiply it with n, which will give you log base 10 of mn. Now, because it's base 10, you can choose not to write it. Your marker won't give you a wrong answer, okay? That's your final answer. Now, how about when you have, uh, you're given three terms, hmm? instead of just two. The fact that, again, your logs here have the same basis. Remember, if there's no base written, it means the base is 10. And all of them have no base written, meaning their bases are all 10. Your answer will also have a log base 10, which is also like with nothing there. Now, what happens? If there are three. Even if there are three, the same concept still applies. So you multiply whatever is at A with whatever is at B with whatever is at C. So your answer will be A multiplied by B multiplied by C. Okay? So you say for example we had a 2 here and a 3 and a 4. So in our answer we'll have 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4. But in this case we only had variables or let me say letters. So that's why it's A multiplied by B multiplied by C. So your answer will be log base 10 of ABC. And that's your final answer. Okay? So, thank you very much for watching this video. Please do like, subscribe, turn on that notification button to be the first to see the next upload. Share with friends, family and classmates. And remember, together we rise to higher heights, apart we all stay behind. Cheers.